Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to stay connected. Today we're diving into the world of wireless networking, specifically looking at WAPs and Wi-Fi routers. Now, you might be thinking, Linus, this is boring tech stuff, but hold on. Understanding this stuff is crucial, especially if you're into IT or cybersecurity. Think about it. Our world runs on Wi-Fi. From streaming the latest memes to transferring gigabytes of data, it's all thanks to these little devices. Knowing how they work, and more importantly how they differ, is key to building and securing robust networks. Whether you're setting up a home network or managing a complex office setup, understanding the strengths and weaknesses of WAPs and routers can make your life a whole lot easier. Plus, it'll save you from those frustrating moments when your internet decides to take a break. So, buckle up, grab your favorite energy drink, and let's demystify the world of WAPs and Wi-Fi routers. First things first, let's define our contenders. A Wi-Fi router is like the heart of your network. It takes the internet signal from your modem and broadcasts it wirelessly, creating your Wi-Fi network. It also acts as a traffic cop, directing data between connected devices. Think of it as a busy intersection, managing the flow of cars coming from different directions. Now, a wireless access point, or WAP, is a bit different. Its main job is to extend the range of an existing Wi-Fi network. Imagine it as a megaphone for your router, amplifying the signal to reach those dead zones in your house. Unlike a router, a WAP doesn't create its own network. It simply piggybacks on an existing one. Here's the catch. Most home Wi-Fi routers actually have a built-in WAP, that's right, they're two-in-one devices. They create the network and can also extend it. But sometimes, one WAP isn't enough, especially in larger spaces. This is where standalone WAPs come in handy. Let's say you're setting up Wi-Fi in a sprawling office building. One router might struggle to cover every nook and cranny. By strategically placing multiple WAPs connected to the main router, you can blanket the entire building with a strong and consistent signal. Think of it like setting up speakers at a concert. One speaker might be loud enough for a small room, but in a large hall, you need multiple speakers strategically placed to ensure everyone gets clear sound. WAPs are especially useful in buildings with thick walls or other obstacles that can weaken Wi-Fi signals. They can also be configured to prioritize traffic for specific devices or applications, ensuring smooth performance for critical tasks. Now, before you go crazy with WAPs, let's talk security. Having multiple access points means more entry points for potential attackers. It's like having multiple doors to your house. Each one needs to be locked and secured. Make sure your WAPs are using strong passwords and the latest encryption protocols. You should also keep their firmware up to date to patch any security vulnerabilities. It's like updating the security system on your doors to keep those pesky intruders out. Additionally, consider using a centralized network management system. This allows you to monitor all your WAPs from a single dashboard, making it easier to detect and respond to any suspicious activity. Remember, a well-configured network with multiple WAPs can provide seamless connectivity and improved performance but always prioritize security to keep your data safe and your network running smoothly. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more cybersecurity insights. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Uh.